Turkey's Pass. I'm doing my next episode on the Wild Turkey. Now, you probably remember from the Bald Eagle episode that originally Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin, Franklin originally wanted, wanted the, wild the Wild Turkey to be the birth of America, America but, then but then the Bald, the bald Eagle, Eagle was chosen. chosen. And, and there are two different types of turkeys, domestic and wild. And the domestic turkeys are bigger and heavier than the wild turkeys. The reason why is because people fatten them up because they want to eat them. And domesticated turkeys can't fly. But wild turkeys can because they're smaller and more lightweight than domesticated turkeys. And because they're also smaller and more lightweight, they're also faster and more agile than domesticated turkeys. They can run faster than a human. And they can fly as fast as 60 miles an hour. Wild turkey is is related to chickens and quails and although wild turkeys can fly they spend more time on the ground and I've actually heard that turkeys might be more closely related to dinosaurs than any other bird. You probably know that turkeys are famous for, for their gobbling sound, but the truth is only male turkeys can gobble. Females make a clicking sound, and only male turkeys have that big tail. They use their tails the same way peacocks do. When they feel threatened against predators or when they want to attract a mate, they puff up and open their tails. And Male turkeys are called toms, and females are called hens. When tom turkeys fight, they lock their necks like this, and they nip at each other with their beaks. It's like an arm wrestling match with their necks. Just like a lot of birds, wild turkeys are omnivores. I'm sure they like to eat berries, insects, nuts, seeds, stuff like that, and they're predators. One of them is the red fox. Maybe the gray fox, too, I'm not really sure. But probably the lynx and the bobcat, and maybe even the brown bear, the black bear, and the cougar and wolf might be enemies of the wild turkey. And, of course, wild turkeys can fly away from their enemies, but they do have enemies in the sky, too, like the bald eagle. And the fact that they originally wanted the wild turkey to be the bird of North America, and now the bald eagle's chosen, I'm sure the bald eagle agrees and really likes to take vengeance on the wild turkey. <laughs> in the past, wild turkeys used to not live in New Hampshire. They they were extinct in New Hampshire for a while, but then eventually they came back. They repopulated the place. I've seen lots of them myself. I think the largest number of wild turkeys that I've ever seen all together were 30 of them near a restaurant that me and my dad went to a long time ago. And speaking of restaurants, we all know that the turkey is the most famous food in Thanksgiving, but sometimes their wild cousins can fight back, so Thanksgiving dinner can turn on us. And another interesting thing is, did you know that one turkey can feed about 10 people? So next time you have Thanksgiving, count how many people are gonna come, and then you can divide that by 10 and figure out how many turkeys you might need. There's something wild turkeys do whenever they whenever they get attacked by a predator. Sometimes when a predator arrives, wild turkeys will gather, the whole flock will come together and they'll walk in circles around their predator, sizing up their predator, getting a good look at it. It basically they're making coming together as one makes them look like a larger creature, which can scare off predators. I've even seen it on TV. On Weird True and Freaky on Animal Planet, 20 wild turkeys were walking in circles around a dead cat. To them, the cat was a threat, even though it was already dead. They were sizing it up, checking it out, and once they figured it out it was dead, they left. Before, when I said that turkeys are more closely related to dinosaurs than any other bird, I think I forgot to mention the turkey has the lizard-like hips of one of the earliest dinosaurs, Eoraptor. Eoraptor 
lived in Argentina in South America 230 million years ago. It was about four feet long, probably about a foot tall, I'd say, and weighed about 70 pounds. It, lit, it had a larger cousin that lived alongside it, Herrerasaurus. It was 20 feet long and weighed 770 pounds. And it's possible that Herrerasaurus might have hunted Eoraptor. And I think I've actually heard in a fight between the two, they both each got 50-50. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time on another episode of Ben's Wild Adventure. And even though Thanksgiving is over this year, I just want to say, Happy Thanksgiving. Go, go, go. <laughs>